Hello everybody, it is a beautiful, bright and sunny January afternoon. I am taking a ride out to Wildwood State Park Campground in Wading River, New York. It's a nice little place, I haven't been here in years. Well, this is our turn. Pulse Landing Road in Wading River, leading into Wildwood State Park. There she is. There's our main entry sign, Wildwood State Park, Long Island's largest campground. Interesting. I didn't know that. Arrive at Wildwood State Park. All right, that's the road down to the beach and picnic area. This is the road to the camp. And it says closed for season. The park office and the police are down this road as well. Welcome to Wildwood State Park. Arrived. Okay, this is the receiving area where you would stop and check in before you go to your campsite. So these are all one ways going to the left. So I'm gonna just do a circle of the RV area. Boy, all of this has changed so much since I was here as a child. It's all grown in, that's really what I'm noticing. All the trees off to the right were all saplings. Uh, if not just a wide open field here at one point. I guess time will do that, won't it? We're gonna do a lap around the RV area and then I'll park my car and we'll take a walk through, get some close-up shots of the sights. I'm gonna break out my secondary camera and give you a look around. Okay, here we go. So this is what a basic site looks like. It's a pull through. You've got a, a paved driveway with water, electric, and sewer. And they're all pretty much the same. So we'll give it a quick drive around. More sites up in that area up there. Okay, prices seem pretty reasonable. Eight, uh, 18 for a ground site, 21 for platform, and 31 for trailer. That's Sunday through Thursday, Friday through Saturday, 22, 25, and 35 respectively. Pretty fair. The usual rules and regs. Little note board. So out here is the RV camping section. Ooh, here's a nice picture. Has a nice old sign for you too. Wildwood Park, Long Island State Parks Commission. Okay, so these are all one ways going down. I wonder if that was a, a free library. I believe I've seen those in state parks before. Sometimes in the county parks, they have a, a food give and take thing, which is nice. You know, people come here down on their luck. It's nice that they can get a meal. And these are all full hookups. Water, sewer, and electricity, which does make RVing very comfortable. Looks like it's going to come with a picnic table. We've been getting a lot of rain lately, so things are a bit flooded. As the electric service looks, looks like it's the same ones from when I was a kid, to be honest with you. It looks like it's basically just a 30 amp service and water. And then there's a public restroom right over there, which probably never gets used in this section. If I remember correctly, when I was a kid camping back in the tent section, if the bathrooms were disgusting in the tent section, which they usually were, thanks to little rotten kids like me, we would come to this one, which would always be relatively clean because everybody out here had their own bathroom. All right. So if you've seen one of these sites, you've basically seen them all. This is the RV section. Okay, we're going to wander into the tent section now. Many of the sites here have platforms, which I learned to appreciate on my last trip to Taconic State Park. It makes for interesting camping, very comfortable. 
in section B. God, this looks so different from when I was a kid here. Unbelievable. Okay, up ahead is the bathhouse for the tent section. We got section D on the right, section B on the left. Now we're here off season obviously, so everything is closed up. I'm not surprised. Continuing our drive basically through the center of the tent section. Let me give you an outside view of what we're looking at. Here we go. Give you a little better view than the through the window view. This is all tent camping back here. On the left hand side, are hiking trails and basically just open pine barrens land all off to the left here. Some big hills. Great camping spots. So on the left is the RV camping section and on the right is the tent section. You've got water available and basically it's just a tent site and a picnic table. I'm not even sure about a fire ring, to be honest with you. Now up this road is the holding tank and dump station. So I guess you'd be coming in this way. All right, because your pump out would be on the driver's side. And it looks like you got a water fill and a pump out. What's nice is they got two setups. I don't know if you can get a trailer by each other. All right, here's the other pump out. Water supply and pump out. Right. Let's take a ride through the tent section from this place over here. Because there is a crazy hill that when I was a kid, I might have been 11 or 12 years old. I had a very bad accident here. The sign right here says it all. I'll try to get a picture of that. Steep slope, no bicycles on this hill. They put that sign there because of me. I came, I came up to the hill from here and just about when I got to this point, hell, there's even still sand in the road. Another car came down the hill from the opposite direction and I moved over to the right and I hit that patch of sand right there and I wiped out all the way down the hill. I did. Now here's something new. They built cottages here. I didn't know that at all. They look like houses, not just cottages. Wow. We're going to have to take a buzz by there and have a look. These sites are a little more secluded back here, a little quieter. Again, no facilities, but nice in its own way has a nice natural you know roll of the hills uh, it's not all flattened out okay let's head into these cottages and have a look well, they look nicely put together one two three four five looks like a half a dozen or so maybe more Handicapped accessible, I like that. They built them around the trees, which is nice. These look like they were brought in on trucks, maybe. Very nice. I'll put the pricing and the availability of these up on the screen. I'm sure it's not inexpensive. These are big houses. Air conditioning, I see seven, maybe eight, nine, nine houses. No, more, 10. Down that way towards cottages, eight, 
through 10, which I don't think we need to see anymore. Maybe we should stop and take a look at this site real quick, get a close up of one of the tent sites. Now, not for nothing, but having these cottages here is taking away from the tent camping, in my opinion, because you'll be hearing those air conditioners or something. All right, we're gonna kill this camera. I've got my portable with me. Okay, this is site number A3. Now I have no doubt during the summer, this is gonna have a picnic table. I do like the platform. Seems pretty stable, sort of, in a rustic way. So, you know, all those cottages are over there. That's, I think that may take away from your tent camping experience. Thank you everybody for joining me today here at Wildwood State Park. We're scoping out new campsites, campgrounds, places to take the trailer and or tent camping. Oh, I've spent a lot of time here as a child, so I'm very familiar, sort of. Just everything has changed in the last three decades, four decades. All right, this intersection rings a bell with me. This is where you had access to the trail down to the beach. So we'd be camping out in those fields out there and that path right there on the right is how you get down to the beach parking area. And you could also go through the woods down that way and get there as well. That's a pretty cool walk. Even better on bicycle. This park is great on bicycles, but you just gotta watch out for those big hills. This is a, like a snack shack. Like a, they sell ice and snacks and stuff like that, camping stuff. Whatever you, people need, they get. Ah, there it is, the elephant rock. See, this is the other side of the hill that I fell down. It's horrible. But there's something over here that I, I was looking for. Just, it looks so different when I was a kid. This is the spot that had the elephant rock, we used to call it. But looking at it now, it's not so big anymore, is it? I guess I'm bigger. Let's take a quick look at it. It's the craziest thing that when I was here last, well, when I was here as a child, I was only about that tall. Uh, everything seemed so much bigger. Now uh, there was a path, yeah, it came down this way. And there was a big hill behind it, I remember that. And this is what we always called the elephant rock. There it is. We climb up on it, sit up on top like we were riding an elephant. Might have even gotten thrown off this rock a couple of times playing King of the Mountain. Okay, quick look around, beautiful scenery. Okay, we're off. They've got all the picnic tables stacked up on this or that corner or all around the uh, all around the park. They're just stacked up waiting for next season to open up. Seems like an efficient way to do it. There's one of the water supplies in blue. These are the, uh, the trails, hiking trails, go all back in that direction, all through the Pine Barrens. You can do long distance hiking on Long Island on these trails if you know your way around. There's lots of them. It's a lot of land out there. This is for, uh, looks like the horseshoes and uh, maybe volleyball. Yeah, volleyball. Yeah, that's the volleyball court. Backlit. 
There's the office right across the intersection there. Okay, now we're heading down to the parking lot at the beach access area. Okay, off to the left hand side is the picnic area. Directly in front of us is field number one, beach area parking. We're gonna park close to this side so we can walk over to the RV section. We'll go down to the beach later. All right, we're gonna park. Okay, down this path is the RV camping area. We would walk down this path on Friday nights just as the sun was going down in the west and they would have a uh, big screen set up here where we would have movie night. Uh, once a month, I believe it was, or twice a month, they had uh, square dancing. Right here where we stand. Grand memories. I mean, people, all children should have memories of places like this. This is why we send our children to camp and take them camping. Back here, some more athletic fields, basketball. And there are more trails going off into the woods that way. Well, that's it for reminiscing up here in this field. I know it's not much to anybody else, but it's a great memory to me. Square dancing in movies. Okay. There's the flagpole. That's the entrance to the camping area. And this is the access road for the picnic area and beach parking. Straight ahead. Let's scoot across the street and we'll walk through the picnic area. Let's get a quick pan from up here. These are all picnic sites at Wildwood. Beautiful. The trees are so old and mature here. When I was a child, they were just saplings. Tiny little bushes. Now look at them. Great stuff for starting fires. Sticky, sticky. They look familiar. The same fireplace you see at every state park. They work. They're not perfect. And that's the beach parking lot out there. Hey, a little snack shack. Straight ahead, there's a playground for the youngins. I'm not going anywhere near there. And this looks like an office. Someone's in there, believe it or not. Lights are on. Oh, that's a bathroom, too. And it looks like it is open. That's always nice of them. Now you see through the trees out there, you can see it's wide open. That's where the water is. That's the Long Island Sound. That's where we're going next. Okay, this is the first sign of some of the hiking trails that are here. At Wildwood, there's a yellow, a blue, and a red trail. Uh, heading up that way, and you're there to the right. That'll take you into the campground. There's a nice little trail that takes you right from the tent section right down to the beach entrance, which is right in front of us. Now, it's a bit of a drudge. It's a decent-sized hill going down to the water, at least as I remember it as a child. We struggled with it. No bicycles allowed down this hill, no fires, no camping, and no boating. Now, when we were rotten kids, we would go up into these woods here and stay on the top of this ridge all the way down. And then when we got to the bottom end of this hill, it was just a giant sand dune that you could just leap off the top and just fall almost all the way down, landing in a hill full of sand all the way down. There was also deposits of clay up on top of these bluffs that we used to collect and do projects with. we got a little board here. Telling you about the fishing, limits, sizes, all that good stuff. As you can see, we're heading downhill pretty fast. Heading down towards the Long Island Sound. And on the opposite side of it should be Connecticut. I don't think we're quite far enough out yet to call it Rhode Island yet. Now, the usual signages making everything ugly. But I guess they are necessary. People are... A little stupid 
All right, gift shop, bathrooms, that kind of thing, first aid is all here. We would set up camp here because we were close to the bathrooms and the facilities and whatnot. And then we could play on that hill. That's all clay up there. We would climb up these hills. It used to be completely covered in sand. You had to dig down two or three feet to get to the clay. It seems like the clay is all at the surface right now. And we'd be able to go all the way up there and just jump off and land down here in deep white sand. But things have changed in the last three decades, three and a half decades. It's a beautiful beach. This is the North Shore of Long Island in Wading River, New York. We're on the opposite side of the island from the campground at Smith Point, where we stayed last summer. I have a couple of videos in my playlist about that. Great spot. Now this is a New York State Park campground, so they got a lot of other rules that the local campgrounds don't have. First and foremost, no pets, and that really bothers me, but I guess to stay on the positive side, it's a beautiful place if you don't have pets. It's a good place to come. Most everyone I know has a dog. I mean, even in the summer, it's not too busy here because we're kind of far out. So you don't get as much city traffic. The campground keeps the beach full, but it's nothing like South Shore beaches with the giant parking lots and such. Pull these Indian rocks because you can rough them up and make a, a, a face paint that you can put on your cheeks. a warm January day I'm kind of bundled up more than I need to be with the sun out it's got to be in the low 50s a nice day to be out and about this is one of the places where we used to climb up the hill and there's another sign dedicated to my being a pain in the ass little kid we'd climb up this hill and then jump down landing in the sand Matter of fact, that little ledge right up there, that little ledge right up there is where we used to stand. And we would land right where that sign is. A lot of fun, but I guess we probably did some damage to the dunes, huh? It was a different time, different world. And it was a lot of fun. What can I tell you? We were kids. It's not an excuse. The North Shore of Long Island is known for the rocky coastline. And it is. I'm a South Shore boy. I like white sand myself. It's a lot easier to lay on. More comfortable on the feet. Okay, lost and missing bobber. Found itself a new purpose. Well, thanks everybody for joining me today at Wildwood State Park Beach. Just a quick stop off while we were doing a tour of the campground. Figured I'd have a quick look. Again, more memories. Now, we have to walk back up this hill. How much fun. I brought my sunglasses, but I don't like to wear them in the winter. 
I don't get enough light as it is. So I'm squinting a bit, sorry. But fair skin. The sun's not my friend. On a positive note, the light's kind of nice. Long Island Sunken Treasure, 12 great reefs to explore. Huh. We're out here waiting river. A lot of wrecks out there, I know that much. Boats have been sailing along the coast of Long Island for hundreds of years, longer than that. If you're not counting the indigenous folks and the Vikings. Well, that's it for me today here from Wildwood State Park in Wading River, New York. Thank you very much for joining me today as we explored a new place to go camping and brought back some old memories for an old dog like me. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscription button in the corner. Turn on notifications so I can let you know when I upload a new video. Leave me a comment below so I know that you were here. Thanks again. From Wading River, New York, J. Charles Outdoors. We're out.